Hi, I'm Kristen Connect, and I'm president of Head, Shoulders, Teeth, and Tongue, and we are oral facial myofunctional therapists. Today, I'm going to do a quick little video on how to kind of get an idea for how wide your palate is. Now, often our mouths are quite small, and, um, and there's a number of reasons behind that. Um, some people blame genetics, some people blame the environment, our nutrition. You know, the hardness of our foods versus the softness of our foods. Anyway, we're not going to go into all of those things in this video. We're just going to go into how to measure it. Now, the very best way is to get a CT scan or a CBCT scan, and that's short for a cone beam CAT scan. And that's a 3D x-ray of your entire head. This is different from a panoramic x-ray. A panoramic x-ray is a 2D x-ray. It's a flat image of the whole jaw. It kind of looks like a smile. Um, a 3D x-ray would show your entire skull and uh, it's going to show you things like bone density and your sinuses and your nasal cavities, the septum. It'll show um, how your teeth all fit together and we can measure several things off of it. We can measure how wide your palate is. Up here, we can measure how long it is. We can see how your tongue is sitting in your mouth. We can measure your airway actually, which is really kind of cool. But if you wanted to know at home kind of how wide your palate is, then um, what you could do is I actually use a little piece of um, dental wax. Not everybody has dental wax at home. You can get it on Amazon. It's really pretty inexpensive. Um, or you could probably use a piece of paper. But you're going to put this little piece of wax inside your mouth. And bite down on it so you get impressions of your teeth. Now we've got several incisors right here and then our canine teeth and then two premolars unless you've had them removed and then you've got your molars and so we call this the first molar or our six-year-old molar because sometimes it shows up when we are six years old and then you're going to take a little ruler and you want to measure this in um, millimeters not inches but then um, you're going to take that and put that little millimeter marking on the very inside of the first molar and um, and measure to the very inside of the first molar on the other side. And um, I've already done this and it is about 34 millimeters across for me. So it's a little on the small side. Um, a mouth should be closer to 38 to 40, kind of depending on how tall you are. Um, everything should be pretty proportional in the human body. But um, that's pretty good for me because I've been doing myofunctional therapy for a while and I was originally at 32. So the fact that I've got two extra millimeters of width uh, now um, shows that even with some myofunctional therapy, we can get a little bit of expansion. Now it took a little while to get those two millimeters of expansion. I've been doing this for a long time, but, um, but we can find that we can get some expansion if we can stimulate that proper bone growth by proper chewing, proper swallowing, good tongue posture at rest, and, um, and maybe even a little bit of help from some appliances. And um, but we can get into all of those details um, with when you meet with me for an assessment. So I hope that helps. 